Hola Taurus, welcome to your love reading for November 2020. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Tauruses for November 2020? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine in regards to love? for their greater good. Love energies for Tauruses for November 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? Well, that was weird how that kind of shuffled on out. Okay. What do you see for Tauruses? Love November 2020. Can you please show me love energies prior to November 2020 for Tauruses? We have the temperance card in the upright. Alrighty. Um, and keep in mind, that click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll have if they're seeing somebody else or it, something you end something you do not know about them. Ten of Wands in the upright. Check out my playlist for my 2021 Sun Moon readings. My 2020s are still up there. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? And what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? And moving out, we have the uh, moving out of November into December. We have the Two of Swords in the upright. Um, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. So uh, we start off with the Temperance card, which is the card of Sagittarius prior to November. Seems like you are trying to chill. <laughs> so you're really trying to stay in the present. The temperance card for me is very much about mindfulness. It's kind of like, let's work with what I have rather than what could be. Um, and you're trying to stay calm, balance your emotions. You're trying to, um, for some of you in a relationship, well, I think this is about a relationship, you are trying to compromise. Um, you're trying to find peace between you and the other person and just find like a, or you were just trying to find like a good place, um, you know, for you guys. Like, where is your place where the the you know you you um, you come halfway, they come halfway, you agree to disagree, and and you work together on your relationship is what I'm kind of feeling. Um, now we move into November, and I think what happens here is that you're finding out that you're doing a lot more of the work. So instead of coming halfway, you're actually going three quarters, and the other person is only meeting you a quarter of the way. Um, and it really is kind of the work is kind of exhausting. Um, you know, you're you're trying really hard to keep this going for you guys to kind of get along, but it's hard when it's it's one person doing all of the work and the other person is just along for the ride. And I think this is part of your frustration in November. Now, as you move out of November, um, it's interesting because the Two of Swords is about, um, you know, not really knowing which way to decide. So you just kind of like, you know, um, sit and, and do nothing for the time being. But um, I'm getting more from this. This is a, a stalemate. So I'm feeling as though you and your partner are having, um, you know, opposition and it's equal met opposition. So neither, um, you're not advancing into either's territory. You're just like at a stalemate. Like, where do we go from here? Because I don't feel like your partner's relenting and I don't feel like, and I feel like you feel like you've had enough. So, I mean, you're kind of crossing swords here and um trying to figure out like what are you going to do but having a hard time kind of deciding that um there's a huge need to compromise in this so uh, i feel like and, and that's not happening um for some of you you might actually have to kind of get a mediator to come in and help you make this decision um because like i said i i think um it's it's two personalities clashing and deciding i'm not i'm not moving any any I've done whatever I'm going to do, and that's going to be it as you move out of November into December. Why is the Temperance card here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? And I also want to say with the Temperance card, I feel like it's you've realized that there, there's something that's problematic, and you want to see if you guys can go about kind of, you know, fixing it or kind of making it happen or making things reasonable within the relationship. Okay, we have the Nine of... Okay, so I see, I see, you know, one of the ways of kind of doing this is somebody is kind of 
um, and I feel like it's it's you actually um, you're letting your guard down a little bit you're not kind of um, you know expecting the worst from the other person uh, I'm also seeing that you possibly apologize to the other person and you really want you're really kind of coming towards them as hey I want to make this better how can we kind of work on this this is important to me I want to enjoy each other so I really feel like you're full disclosure with them um, because of the problems you guys are having I must feel as though you're you're thinking to yourself well if I have this kind of approach um, rather than kind of fight them on it there might be um, you know a better chance that we can we can kind of uh, you know get over this misunderstanding and um, you know possibly or a breakup or whatever this is a separation or arguments and rekindle what we have because you know there's problems so you figure well if I lead by example then maybe that'll you know help why is the ten of wands here in the upright but then what happens is you take on all the work why is the ten of wands here in the upright who's this person with this energy additional messages for the ten of wands in the upright for Taurus's Sun card in the upright. Okay, so I feel like you guys are going through a really big struggle, but you're trying to stay positive. Um, you know, you're trying to be authentic. You're trying to say, um, you know, hey, we can be happy again. So, I mean, I'm getting the sun card. You're trying to be the upbeat, upbeat person that's happy, joyous, optimistic, hoping that it's going to kind of take. Um, but there's still a struggle with the five of pentacles between the two of you this is this is really hard this is really kind of testing your relationship um and testing your resolve um but again it's it's you that's kind of doing i feel like a majority of the work while this is kind of going on um and i feel as though with the ten of wands in reverse you get to a point where you're like enough i'm not you know, I'm not not doing more than what's required of me anymore. Um, I'm not doing this. I'm going to release this. I'm not going to be the victim anymore. Um, I need to take a break from the person that's that's the, you know, driving force in this relationship. And you're kind of stepping out in that regard. So once you kind of do that, then it's kind of like I said, this stalemate where the two of you are staring each other down like, OK, well, where where do we go from here? Because I'm not going to put any more into this and neither, you know, and neither are you from what you're telling me. So where do we go from here? We need to decide. But you're not deciding, which is funny. Why is the two of swords here in the upright for Taurus's love energies? November moving into December. Knight of Wands. Somebody, somebody in this between the two of you is a real force. Um, they kind of want it 100% to go their way and they don't see it any other way. And they get very angry and frustrated when um, the other person is not kind of um, agreeing to what they want or how they want things to be. Um, the Moon card is here. In reverse, which kind of leads me to believe that somebody is having this moment of clarity and deciding maybe this is not the right thing for me. Maybe there are, um, if I release this um, and all the negative things that go along with it, then maybe it'll end up being better for me. So it might be a light bulb moment where, you know, you realize this is more trouble when it, than it's worth. Um, and then realizing there's other opportunities out there with the seven of cups and the upright and not really knowing what's in any of those cups but being willing to explore um, explore what's out there and um, rather than continue to invest in this where I feel like this is absolutely getting nowhere at this time so um, you might be thinking it's better to cut your losses and just kind of explore some other relationships um, rather than continuing to invest in this so that is what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Uh, just send me an email and we can make that happen. Otherwise, click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that, I will have if they are seeing somebody else and uh, something you do not know about them. Otherwise, check out my playlist. 2021 sun moon readings are in there and 2020s are still up. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner sun sign? Ask me a question on instant go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I will see you in the Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.